Hello, welcome to another short clip. I'm Mitch Hill with SMC Electric. The product we were talking today is a actuated positioning sensor by SMC Corp. The device is a DMP series. It's designed to give uh, feedback to the PLC exactly where the, the cylinder is stroked to. Typically in the past, we would put a sensor here and a sensor here to tell if it's retracted and extended to the PLC so we know the, where the location of the cylinder is. So we go on to the next function. Um, a nice thing about this sensor here is, again, is you get total feedback from the full stroke. So zero to 50 all the way through. This is a 50 millimeter stroke here. Typically, um, a transducer would be installed into the cylinder into the, into the rod itself and it would need modification. You would have to buy another um, sensor or transducer from another company to install and it usually runs the cost up pretty high where this device here is basically the same thing but it fits in the same groove that the normal sensor fits in, the read and PMP sensor fits into. Ideally, the DMP can be used for the following application. It can be used to determine the size of a box where the stroke has a stop. So if you had a a wall here where a conveyor is coming down with different sized boxes widthwise, the cylinder can come out and touch the cylinder, touch the box itself and determine how big a box is coming down the line as they come. Also, the cylinder can be used as a depth gauge. So if you had a part that had a hole in it or a square hole, whatever, it could actually go into the hole. You could attach a device on it too to thin this down and you could tell how depth the hole is and see if you met criteria which you desire. The cylinder can definitely be used to determine measuring dimensions. As you can see, the cylinder strokes out, hits 50, as it retracts all the way back, it's zero. You go somewhere in mid-stroke, you'll get feedback there. Um, this is the analog feedback we're using right now on there. Details on the DMP. Basically, there's a couple of options on this sensor you can pick from. Basically, the length of the sensor itself is designed for the length of the cylinder itself. So if you had a 25 millimeter cylinder, you would need a 25 millimeter um, length sensor. And basically, you've got 25 millimeter, 50 millimeter, 100 millimeter, and 200 millimeter stroke you can pick from. The next option you can pick to combine with those is the type of cable you have. Either you're gonna have an M8, M12, or flying leads. This can also be um, used on a standard cylinder, which you typically would have your sensors here and here, so you can tell if you retract it all the way or go forward all the way. You can get feedback that way. It's typically how we do it. And it's either gonna be a solid state PMP or MPN sensor, or it could be a read. But the cylinder's already got the magnet in it, so the advantage of this is, this reads out the same magnet your typical sensors would use now would operate from. Also, it makes the cylinder, the sensor um, work so well on a cylinder is you don't have to bore a rod or you don't have to do any outside modifications or anything like that. It fits within the same groove a typical sensor would fit into on the different cylinders you can pick from. Nice feature on this is um, it's got a 0 0.1 millimeter resol repeatability. Um, the switch output on this, you can have PMP, MPN, and it's all in the same model. Or you can get analog output 0 to 10, or you can go to 4 to 20, and then also it's got I.O. link. The advantage of using I.O. link, if you set your PLC up correctly, you can have the sensor pre-programmed up front to exactly what you want it to do. And so if the sensor fails or something happens to the sensor, it gets crushed or whatever, um, the maintenance guy could come back and install it, and the I.O. link would automatically update the sensor with all the values you set it at the beginning. Also a great option on this device is it's actually got a teaching pendulum here. So if you push this button here, it puts it in the mode where you can change different things. And the feedback is the light itself. I'll change different colors and it's got a simple chart you go through to pick out what it's doing per the color um, designation. D-MP series actuator positioning sensor is very efficient, reasonable cost, and ease of installment, like I said before, it fits right back in the standard groove the sensor does. There's no modification. Typically, you would have to, the cylinder would have to be bored out and you buy a transducer for somebody else to put in here and it has quite a bit of cost. And it gives you exact feedback location of the rod where you're at to the PLC. Thank you for watching this short clip. Um, again, this is a D-MP sensor from SMC Corp. It's designed to give you feedback from the cylinder. 
to know the exact position where the cylinder is at in the stroke. And if you'd like to have more information or um, need somebody to reach out to you about this, feel free to call your one of your local branches at SMC Electric or go to smcelectric.com. Thank you.